of my highest viewed all-time videos was a video that I did three years ago and I shared with everyone how to stretch ground beef. Well today we're going to do that on a small scale. I'm going to show you how I'm going to take three pounds of ground beef and I'm going to make three meals with it. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you take something from it and maybe you can share with me in the comments below how do you stretch your ground beef. So we have three pounds of ground beef and we are going to make three meals with this. It was $16 down to eight and then I got it down to four. So we got four dollars worth. We got three pounds of ground beef for four dollars. And today I'm going to share with you how I can make three meals out of three pounds of ground beef. So I'm going to take my knife and I'm just going to score it a little bit so I have an idea. So the center piece, the one we're using today, the center piece is a little bit bigger than the other ones because our first meal is going to be sweet and sour meatballs. First thing I want to do is it's still slightly frozen. I had froze this meat. So I'm going to break it up. The sweet and sour meatballs was Grandma Fanny's recipe. I've been making it now for many, many, many years. The recipe is really simple. It's one and a half pounds of ground beef. I have a little over a pound. One egg and one cup of breadcrumbs and a teaspoon of garlic powder. The meatballs themselves are rather bland because we are going to be putting a sauce on them. These breadcrumbs came from the food pantry. But you can make your own, and I also have my own that I made in a video a couple weeks ago, taking very stale old bread and turning it into amazing breadcrumbs. Now we're going to take one egg. The egg is what you call a binder. So the egg is going to bind everything up together. Now I am going to add a little bit of ketchup, just a little bit, just to give it a little more moisture. The recipe doesn't call for it, but I like to do that. Like I said, I've been making this recipe a long time. Basically, it's like a meatloaf recipe. You're going to take your casserole and you're going to make sure that you have it greased. And we're going to go ahead and work the meat together and form our meatballs. We're going to go ahead and we're going to put all the meatballs in the casserole dish. And when I'm finished, and I'll show you what we do next. Some people like to make their meatballs really small, and they would be like a cocktail meatball. I like to make mine fairly large because it is a main staple of a meal. So here you go. We have the meatballs all finished. Now we're going to go ahead and make the sweet and sour sauce, which is just very simple. It calls for one cup of brown sugar, One half cup of ketchup, one fourth cup of warm water. and just a little bit of vinegar, and mine is vinegar with some thyme in it. 
Mmm, it smells amazing. Now we're going to go ahead and mix this all together. We're going to bake this at 350 for about one and a half hours. Then we have meal number two. Basically, we're going to take about a fourth of a pound or a third of a pound of the ground beef. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to add an egg. We're going to add some breadcrumbs. I'm not measuring because we're making burgers with these. Also going to add a little bit of ketchup. I like putting my homemade ketchup into these bottles. I have a recipe on my homemade ketchup as well. So we're just going to mix this up and form two burgers with this. And this will be meal number two. So you can add mashed potatoes or mac and cheese. And this is a good staple. For your main part of your meal. So for four dollars we have one meal basically made. Now we're working on two. For me the side dishes are actually pretty much free because I have a garden. So this actually is going to make three burgers. So I'm going to try to make them all the same size. All right, so we have three burgers, and that's meal number two, and that we can put in the refrigerator, and then I'll show you what I'm going to be doing with meal number three. I'll give you a word of advice. If you have ground beef and you froze it, and you froze it raw, you cannot do something like this and put it back in the freezer. Now, if you cook it, you can put it back in the freezer, but you can't thaw meat out and then put it back in and freeze it again if it still remains raw. So this we will have to eat tomorrow but if you saute your ground beef you can put it back in the freezer so the last of the meat is this and this is probably a third of a pound or a fourth of a pound I'm going to saute this and this is going to be in a future video coming up in the next couple days where I'm making some homemade vegetable soup with all of the ingredients from my garden so we're going to have carrots we're going to have onions, we're going to have cabbage, and I'm going to have this as my meat for it. So there you go. We have all these meals with $4 of meat. Now, originally it was $16, then it was 8 now it's 4 So I'm going to share with you, when the meatballs are finished, what the meal looks like. Alright, so our meal is finished. We have some peas. We each have a meatball or two. Look how yummy that looks. It smells amazing. So this is going to give us more than one meal. Then we have baked potato. That came from my garden. This reminds me of a Sunday dinner at Grandma's house. Now I'm going to add a little bit of this spicy sauce. I like this on top of my meatballs. And there you go everyone. So this is meal number one. The burgers are meal number two, and in a future video, I'm going to have meal number three, and that's homemade vegetable soup with the vegetables from my garden. So this is going to give me another meal. So let's say two meals here, a meal with my burgers, and the vegetable soup will bring another two meals. So that is a lot of meals. Take care, everyone. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Time for Fanny's Diary. We're on October 16th, 1943. And Fanny writes, today I went to E-Town in the morning 
and I went and bought some sweet potatoes from Harold. Then in the afternoon we made two freezers of ice cream. Did you like my video? Could you give me a thumbs up and let YouTube know that you liked it? Thank you so much. And don't forget to... That's right, ring my bell because YouTube likes that too.